A sunken Soviet nuclear submarine that's been on the seafloor for three decades is leaking an abnormally high amount of radiation now. According to the Institute of Marine Research, the leak poses no risk to people or the marine creatures. The researchers took water samples near a ventilation duct on the Cold War era submarine. They contained up to which contains up to 8 lakh times the normal amount of the element of casium, a metal that can be radioactive. Vi vill följa extra nöje med på den ventilation sulla. Vi ska sitta och övervaka det med ROV och kamera på den och följa med om vi ser en sån ski igen och då vill vi ta pröva flera prova därifrån. The submarine sank in uh, well in 1989 after a fire broke out on board, killing 42 crew members. The wreck now lies at the depth of about 17,100 meters at the bottom of the Norwegian Sea in the Arctic. Authorities have conducted yearly expeditions to monitor radiation levels since the 1990s, but this year's inspection was the first one to use a remotely operated vehicle to collect samples. The scientific mission samples show levels of radioactivity at the site up to 800,000 times higher than the normal radiation levels. Brilliant catching. Nicely played. It's going to be poor. Well, hosts England clinched their place in the final of the 2019 ICC World Cup after absolutely hammering defending champions Australia by eight wickets in Leeds. Now, record five-time world champions Australia won the toss and opted to bat first on the ground. They haven't won at in any format since 2001 and it looked like the Aussies were still reeling under the jinx as they lost three wickets inside the first seven overs with just 26 runs on board. Alex Scarry rebuilt the innings in the company of Steve Smith as the two put on a 103 run stand. Smith played the anchor's role, scoring a patient 85, his fourth 50 plus knock of the tournament. Australia, though, was still bowled out for a low total of 223 uh, with Chris Walks, the pick of the English bowlers, finishing the three wickets. That could have proven to be a tricky chase for England, but it was anything but as openers Johnny Besto and Jason Roy destroyed the Aussie attack, posting 124 for the first wicket. There was some joy for Australian pacer Michelle Stark, uh, though, who became the leading wicket taker at a single World Cup with his dismissal of Besto. His 27th scalp of the tournament, Roy fell for 85, but skipper Owen Morgan and Joel Root took England home with more than 17 overs to spare. The home nation will be there. We will have a new name on that cup. It will be England. Well, that means come Sunday, we will have the first-time winners of the World Cup as New Zealand await England in the summit clash. New Zealand, of course, beat India to make it to their second successive final, while England will be taking part in their first final since 1992. Both teams were on the brink of elimination in the group stages and now will battle it out at Lords, the home of cricket for the biggest prize in sports.